everybody and welcome to Improvised Chemistry. Today I'll be teaching you how to extract chlorophyll from leaves. Here I have about 15 leaves. So what you want to do is you want to make sure to wash the leaves and make it clean. We don't want any dirt or any dust on top of the leaves. Alright, next, get some alcohol, isopropanol alcohol. I'm using 91% isopropanol alcohol. And we'll be measuring out about 150 milliliters of the alcohol. You don't need to be exact, but just measure it out. So what you want to do now is you want to pour that into a beaker. Just pour out that measured alcohol into a beaker. And what we're going to do is we're going to get these leaves and we're going to cut them into small pieces into the beaker. They don't need to be too small, but just get some scissors and cut it into small pieces. Just like so. All right, here it is after I cut them into pieces. So what you're gonna do is let it soak for a couple of minutes. So we'll be right back. All right, so after about an hour or so, this is what the chlorophyll mixture looks like. All right, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to filter the solution so we could get rid of all the um, small leaf particles. All right nice green color. I'm going to filter it by pouring it into this cup with a filter attached to it. Uh, it's just a coffee filter so nothing too special. Alright, here's my flask, my Erlenmeyer flask to be exact, and we're going to pour this in very carefully. There is our clean chlorophyll mixture. It looks pretty cool. Alright, so there you go. That's how you make chlorophyll, or that's how you extract chlorophyll from leaves. Uh, store this in a dark container, like, um, you know, one of those hydrogen peroxide bottles. Store it in there, and It'll last pretty long because it's alcohol based, so it's not really going to uh, mold as easily if it, as it's water based. And plus, you have to store it in the dark bottles because this is sensitive to the sun. Alright, well thanks for watching. Please subscribe, rate, and comment.